Well, taking time out of his busy schedule it's while fabulous. gearing up for the 35th America's Cup, it is a very warm welcome to CEO of the America's Cup Event Authority and sailing legend Sir Russell Coates. Morning. Morning. First time I talked to you, I asked you to marry me back in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was so proud. What did I say? You said, I think you fobbed me off in a really nice way. It was very, it was very diplomatic, but nice. I think it was after one of your books came out. So nicely done, and um, and nice to see you've done so well for yourself after all of that. Because you know, you know how hey, you've been. And so have you, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us first about your job. I mean, what does the CEO of the America's Cup Authority actually do? Well, there's uh, the competitive side of the sports run by a separate uh, event authority, and that's elected by the, or mutually elected by the teams. So we look after the commercial side of things, which is all um, television, all the television production, uh, all the on site facilities, the event village, all the fan um, facilities, and so forth. Uh, the sponsor activations, all of the stuff that goes into running and, and managing an event. And after having, I guess, a lot of time on the water, are you enjoying the new role? Oh, absolutely. Well, it's exciting times. You know, the, the sport in many ways has been revolutionised over the last few years. So that's that's been great to be part of. And, mm. and uh, you know, I'm still learning a lot and... and uh, so you know, it's great fun. You essentially get to do all the fun stuff without all the twitchy <laughs> team stuff. And not, yeah. I mean, the politics are there, but not probably not such a wide variety of them. And also yeah. the telly stuff must be very interesting because you've got those incredible graphics now too. So it's really bringing it for the layperson, isn't it? Like spectators can watch it now mm. and yeah. people who don't get yachting can actually understand what's going on, which is quite a revelation. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. It used to be really hard to understand, you know. Yeah. And one person described it to me, one um, key broadcaster described it to me as, white triangles on a blue background and that's kind of what it was <laughs> way yeah, back true. In. and a lot now, of that's been fed by New Zealanders as well isn't it so it's great to have you in this role to keep sort of you know pushing the New Zealand technology through the well it's this new technology superimposing the graphics over the video images that was a breakthrough in more ways than one I mean we discovered a lot of a lot of things you know that were you know, after that as a result of it that uh, we probably would never have, well we wouldn't have had. Yeah. So it's been great, it, it makes it more understandable for the, for the lay person. For everyone, yeah. yeah. For yeah. Mike, pretty fancy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> okay, so tell us about this new program that you've got, the Endeavour program, what's that about? Well the America's Cup Endeavour program, that was really started because sailing um, has a lot of educational components to it. And so when you, look, when you think about it, it's got a geometry to it, it's, 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 there's, there's physics, to it obviously, how, how can a boat sail faster than the wind? Up to three times faster yeah, than the wind, these modern America's Cup boats. There's also uh, subjects like marine debris, health, uh, which you guys have been, been talking, talking a bit about, about on the show <laughs> yeah. earlier. You know, so great topics that are part of the school curriculum, but that we can, uh, particularly with our television production capabilities, create programs for these kids that that are, that are fun to do and then have a have an experiential part where they can sort of learn some of that stuff on the water like you know some quite complex subjects like buoyancy for example they can they can learn about that and learn about the effects of it and and, uh, and have some fun doing it as well and that's been hugely successful we started in Bermuda uh, with a target to, to uh, um, but basically reach and, and have the participation of all middle school kids so kids aged between 9 and 12 and so far we've had 2,600 kids or more than that through the program, 1,300 or just over the, um, this year. So it's going really well. And, and, uh, That's fantastic. Any plans to bring it here? Well, we've, uh, we've, Watch the space. We've, we've, we've extended it out to New York and we've partnered with some charities there took some boats in there and actually branded the boats like New York Taxi Cab. So <laughs> awesome. it's pretty cool. cool. And then we, then we took it to Chicago as well and uh, donated some boats there and, and they were all themed after the um, uh, major sports teams there so the Chicago yeah. Cubs and the White Sox and, and all of the all of the uh, the Bulls and all of those teams um, uh, lent their brands to this to this project mm -hmm. which oh, was fantastic. It sounds awesome. And Just, then sorry. New Zealand um, uh, you know Go I mean, on. I'd, I'd love to do something here but it's yeah. a matter of finding the right um, uh, partners to do it with and, and certainly it's, it's, it's one of my objectives that I'll think about in the future okay, for sure. Perfect. Fingers crossed. Now I must ask you just finally, if you close your eyes, like you've won the America's Cup five times, you've won gold at the Olympics, when you close your eyes what's the moment, what's the winning moment that you go back to that just gives you that real rush? I asked Ian Ferguson this just for yeah. the other day, and he said he remembers when he won gold three times in two days at the Olympics in '84 that his cheeks were hurting from smiling so much. He just put it <laughs> the other day. Cheeks were hurting. What, yeah. what's, what's your memory? I have lots of them. You know, I mean, I mean, uh, 
It's tough to single one out. You know, obviously the win in 1995 was a big one. When, when coming back here, we we're all shocked at you know what the reaction was back here. It's uh, amazing. Nice it was work. Good times. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Thank you so much for joining us, Russell. Yeah, it's been a yeah. pleasure. Excellent. Russell Coots, we are wishing all of the team the best of luck, but particularly Team New Zealand, obviously, uh, for the next Louis Vuitton <laughs> event, and to you with the America's Cup Endeavour program as well. Thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely yeah. delightful. I won't ask you to marry me again. <laughs> <laughs>